got scabies. This old wench, young, brave down to a shapely arse. Sure. Oh, watch it, sluggard. Hmm. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> Your mate he seek trouble the loot between Stop. them long ago. Points, that's what I would have done. And you I need a it good now. plan. Save your strength. Die with some dignity. Use some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? <laughs> Need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error, a mortal one. Thing you got me shaking in my boots. You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Taking Uma. There ain't a. Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? That one of your Witcher games. Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door now. Here's Roach. She'll take us to Care Morning. Well, come on. Displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way.
and the Third Army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. No courtesies needed? Perfect. But remember, I'm not your soldier, or page, or dog, so don't give me any orders. Would you prefer I order my guards? Look around. I need only beckon. Geralt. Now report. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say, for your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. I pursued those leads you gave me. Siri first reappeared in Skellige with a mage, an elf. Yen knows more. The Wild Hunt tracked them down, found them there. They were forced to flee to Velen. Where they were separated. Siri spent some time with a local warlord, a self-styled baron who... Yes, yes, I know my bosses. Who helped her get to Novigrad where Ciri crossed some of the city's underworld bosses. She had to flee, went back to Skellige, ran into her elf companion there. And into the wild hunt, again. Ciri and the elf fled, out to sea this time. Their boat returned to shore the next day, with only him on board. Hmm. The information appears of little use, though at least it seems you kept busy. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that. The fail Ellen, Kedmil Fali, Gladiv Don Eptened, Andro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next. Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Aratusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Unlike some others, I know. 
Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. journey. How was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm. <laughs> what have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip. And is this... <laughs> now, now, calm down. Jennifer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. Don't look all that nice yourself. How'd you get so dirty? Huh? Ah, this. I was mixing some lime for the mortar. Need to patch up the walls before they crumble. A lot of work for one person. Lambert and Eskel not willing to help? Don't see the sense in it? No. Yennefer found more important things for them to do. Yen's here already? And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt. I understand she's a, well, how do I put this, emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see, jumps right into a, we've a curse to lift, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. Then she went to the guest room to rearrange things, through the bed, off the balcony. Shame. That was a good bed. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Tris always said she... Ah, now I see. It's either that, or Yen really hates oak furniture. So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. Mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it despite our asking. She's up to something. Glad you noticed. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. 
Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. 